In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to zoom in on a video clip. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of uh, working in Blender, so I won't be going in the to the final rendering of this video. So all I will show you is just how to zoom in and also place some keyframes so you can use some proportional um, zooming in if you like for want of a better word. A couple of things you'll need to think about. Firstly, so you can get a good idea of what the video is going to look like after you zoomed in, make sure that you've deselected your proxy clips. So if you're using proxies, deselect that option. The other thing to consider is the aspect ratios or the the format you're going to render in. So this isn't this isn't too bad. This video is not perfect. It's 4K or UHD, and in theory I should be able to zoom in 200%, and that will give me the equivalent of HD. It doesn't always work like that, and it depends on the camera you're using as well. But so if I was to say this is 4K or UHD, if I was to zoom in by 200%, do I need to actually create a 4K video out of something that isn't to the 4K sort of standard? So that's something you may want to consider your, um, you know, the, the ratio sizes. So that's something you will need to decide yourself. So obviously, as I said, you probably know the couple of things like you can roll your middle mouse to zoom in out, in and out so, so you can get an idea of what your final video is going to look like. So I won't go into anything else. I think that's probably going to cover most eventualities. So with your video clip in the timeline, what you might want what you want to make sure is that you haven't got your audio and the um, video selected. So just select the blue track if you're. Um, going to be using um, audio and once you've selected your blue track come up to add you can also use shift a but freeze I'm just going to select add and then get something called effect strip select transform and what this will do is put a transform strip over the top of your video and to the right hand side you should see this uh, transform box here, say effect strip. So you've got some options. First of all, unless you want to change the, you know, the the size X and Y, make sure you place a tick in the um, uniform scale box. So I can now change the. I can zoom in on this clip now. And like I said, I wouldn't go past two for um, UHD and in HD, I probably wouldn't go more than 1.3 or 130. So I can take this up to zoom like that. Uh, take it up a bit more, no more than two. Um, and I can also recenter using Y and X if I want to. So that's basically all you need to do if you don't want to sort of gradually zoom in. But I'm going to just reset these um, to the original settings and show you how to keyframe. So at frame one, you can do this at any position, but from frame one, I'm going to zoom to about here. Um, so I, I would need to place some keyframes because I'm going to change the positions a bit and also the scale. There's a little tab next to position X, Y, and scale. You can also use rotation as well, but I won't go into that. And that's placed the keyframe at the beginning of this video. So if I just come along to I don't know roughly the middle, just for ease. And then scale this up to about, I don't know, 1.9, something like that. 
and place a keyframe. I can also center this up a bit more and again select that this little tab here for a keyframe. Maybe move this over a bit and select a keyframe. Go back to the beginning and I'm going to just kill the noise a minute. So knock the volume down. Now if I play this As you can see this zooms in quite nicely and that's about all there is to it just roll your middle mouse make sure you've got a reasonable quality and if you you can't get a full screen view on this so the only other option you could render out an image of this um, but I won't go into that so basically that's all there is to it really Hopefully that has helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.